The good news is it looks like I might be able to start flying again from next week. The bad news is this being Spain, a land of extremes. The temperature now has gone from a relatively balmy 20 degrees C during the day to somewhere near a 36. Even back in the winter when I was flying this, I noticed that the speed controller and indeed the battery were getting pretty, pretty warm, close to toasty on a, on a warm day. I'm going to have to improve or add some airflow to go over the ESC and the battery. The rule of thumb with this type of airflow is that you have to have twice the area for the air to exit as it does to enter. Simple answer to that is just with my 3D printer to print three of these little air scoops. This is of a design from Thingiverse and as always links down there in the description. My idea then is simply to put one on the top here to scoop the air in, then I'll place two underneath the wing for the air to exit. That's the plan. I'd like it to be flush. This I think I printed at a thickness of somewhere around two millimeters. What I'm going to do is to draw around it and then with my Dremel cut out the, the shape there and finally the hole for the air to pass in. I've put the router attachment onto my Dremel. I'm going to run it around about half speed I think and I should be able to see the pattern looking through the, the hole here. Now let's check for the fit. Yes, that's not too bad with some some spackle or something just to cover up the gaps there and then drill out this hole in the center for the air to pass and we should be good. Well, here goes nothing. Time to tidy that up, I think. There. Functional, if not aesthetically pleasing. Well, that should improve matters. When choosing a location for the exit scoop, a couple of things to bear in mind. One is that inside here there's a ply plate some 15 millimeters below the level here, so we can't go too far up. I'm not sure how far that plate goes back, but we have to assume that it could be in the way. The other thing is Obviously, the Bixler is hand-launched. Normally, it would be launched in this sort of area here, the person holding it under the center of the wing, so it can't be too far forward. Therefore, the location that I've chosen is here at the end of the decal there, and the exhaust port should fit there. Let's get that done. Here is the first location carved out with the Dremel and then the hole put in, and cleaned up a little with the hot iron. Do take a bit of caution here, don't go too mad with the drill, as there are the servo cables and the motor cables in this area. Once you've gone through this first, say, 10 millimeters of the foam, then you can withdraw the, the drill and, and do the rest by hand. Each of the side scoops now have been glued in place using the glue of choice for foam. The Yuhu Pour. What I wanted to do next was just to lightly put some filler in to mask out these these small gaps. And of course, the shops are closed now. The only shops that are open are food shops and the pharmacy. What to do? Most light fillers, spackle, call it what you will, are only a mixture of PVA, wood glue, and gypsum. If we just mix up a paste of that, we'll give that a go. Bonus fact, this part of Spain is one of the largest producers of gypsum or yeso in the world and a little port called Garucha just down on the coast from me exports um, over a million metric tons of the stuff a year so it's not exactly in short supply. Not particularly scientific but it should do the job.
Here she is then back in flying fettle. Rear yeah, scoop's looking, uh, looking rather cool, even if I do say so myself. Rear scoop here, out of the way when launching. And a quick view of the exhaust port. As I said, hopefully next week we'll be able to give it some flights. I'll be using this extensively to uh, get my dumb thumbs back on track. I'll leave a pinned comment once I've used my Mark 1 temperature sensor on the speed controller and battery and let you know how it's worked out for me.